Hi guys, this is Sensei Adam from the Torah Kang Dojo. This is your techniques for day number three of the Women Fight Back course. Uh, we just would like to say thank you to the support company of Trinidad and Tobago for sponsoring our t shirt Fight Back. All right, thank you very much, the support company. You're really helping us out and you're really helping support and save a lot of women in this initiative. Thank you very much. Technique number one, the blast. Uh, technique developed by um, Bruce Lee. He believed that constant strikes to your opponent um, without giving them a chance to retaliate or breathe, it would, you know, it, it, it would um, uh, create a lot of confusion and um, eventually one strike would hit and uh, it would go on and on and on. So check, check this out, blast. So from this position, uh, if trading with a partner, Penny just keeps her hands on, very relaxed, and then from this position, she's going to come forward at me, I'm going to step back with my guarded position so that for me as a training partner, I know that I'm not going to get hit, and, uh, and then she will also be able to practice, and we both will, will be able to practice in a safe environment, okay? So, from here, very slowly first, she goes, and she's going to use the palmy strikes that we learned in the previous class, okay? So, very slowly. Boom, boom, boom. And she's going to Okay? Now full speed, blast. Tight. Blast. Technique number two, groin kick. Probably the the technique that is um, that is looked at as the most important technique in self-defense ever by any instructor, they always tell you to kick to the groin. Yes, it's a very good technique. This is how we kick into the groin. So when he goes into her stance, you would know this from uh, from day two, uh, and then from this position here, keep her with her sneaky guard up, right? I'm going to present the target towards her that's going to be groin height. I don't want to. Put my hands up here because up here is not where my groin is. I don't want to make target down here because down here isn't where my groin is. It shouldn't be down there. So right in level of where my groin is. From here, she's going to take her power leg, which is her rear leg. She's going to bring the knee up, level it with the groin, pass it, and then extend the leg to make contact with the instep. And then she puts the leg down. Okay. At the same time, she's going to let her hips go forward. When her hips go forward, her uh, upper body is naturally going to compensate for balance and lean back slightly. Okay, so you're going to get this maneuver. Try not to lean forward as you make the kick. Okay, so very, very slowly. First, going straight. One, two, three, four. Good. Now a little bit faster. Um, a little bit faster, I'm gonna get something. Stay right here. So, if you have one of these at home, try and use it. It's a big black pad full of foam. Right? So, from here, same level, so it's not my hands, and now she can go full force at it. Okay? We're gonna do three. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Time. Groin strike. Next technique that we're gonna learn, technique number three, is the pluck. The pluck we use in, a, in a many different self-defense situations, but the one that we're going to show you today is choke from the front. So before we get into the whole defense, I just want you to learn the pluck. The pluck is, uh, is a technique that we're using. We're not trying to pull the person's arms off of us. We just want a small break in their hands uh, or in the attack, wherever they attack. Just a small break. The pluck also allows us to control their hands in a position where they can't fight back after that point. So, from here, as I put my hands on Penny in a very gentle fashion, I don't want to choke her really hard right now, I just wanted to get the, the idea of it. She's going to bring her hands up naturally as though um, somebody really was holding on to her neck. She's going to bring her hands naturally to stop it. From here, all she's going to do differently is she's going to place the four fingers, which are a strong part of the grip, uh, and include it with the thumb, and she's going to hook it. Put it up by the neck and then she's going to attack my thumb which is the uh, which is the weak part of my grip she's going to attack my thumb but that's where i'm actually trying to choke her with my thumbs 
So if I do this, my thumbs, my front of her windpipe is actually trying to choke, and she brings the hands up, and she back down. My hands are here in position. Notice that she isn't pulling my hands away. So pull my hands away. She isn't throwing my hands away, because from here I can just go back and attack her again. She's plucking and holding, plucking and holding. She just wants to get these thumbs slightly off of her neck. That's all she wants, and she wants to be able to control my hands as well at the same time. So she's plucking and keeping her, my hands on the chest. Okay, from this position here, I wanted to feel her so relaxed, hands down all the time, never start in this position here. And then from here, as my hands go to the neck, then she comes up and she naturally plucks. That. Technique number three, the pluck. Technique number four, we're putting everything together. This time it's choke or two-handed choke from the, from the front in a stationary position. No push, no pull. Two-handed choke defense in a stationary position. This time she's going to do the pluck into the groin strike, into the blast. All three of the techniques that we've done before. For this last one, okay? So very slowly, as I attack her now with the same choke, she's gonna pluck, which is the defense that she learned naturally, but she needs to also uh, to attack so that I, so she finishes me off, okay? So from here, as I put my hands on her once, she plucks and groin strikes at the same time. As that happens, she goes into her blast, okay? Pluck, groin strike at the same position. Remember, very important, when she plucks, she's keeping her hands, or my hands, on her chest. So I can't re-attack her, and at the same time she's hit into the groin. When your partner is practicing as a bad guy, make sure that they stand up square. Reason being is, most of the times, especially for attacks like this, people are going to stand up square. If it's stationary, they, they are showing how strong they are, how bad they are. So just like an animal, how they puff up when they, they're ready to fight, the same thing for most uh, people when they get aggressive. Do not step onto into the side to protect the groin, that's never gonna happen. Okay, somebody's never gonna choke you like this to the side. Okay, present them with a target and practice properly. So come here. All right, hands are down, she's in a passive position, not expecting anything, choke comes on. One more time. Block, groin, strike, blast. That was too good. <laughs> Technique number four, choke from the front, two-handed, stationary position.